What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast, where today we talk to you guys about the season finale of HBO's The Last of Us TV series, which um, we had some good ideas, good thoughts about the episode, some bad thoughts about the episode, but it did kind of give us some background uh, into things that we didn't really grasp in the video game. Um, we got to see Ellie's mother uh, at the very beginning of this episode. This is after the incident with David. Um, and uh, we got to see who that was. She was played by Ashley Johnson, who voices Ellie in uh, The Last of Us mm-hmm. video game series. So they used Troy yeah. Baker in uh, Episode 8, and they used Ashley Johnson in Episode 9. And she played the role of Ellie's mother, protecting her daughter, trying to pregnant, running from infected, and getting, uh, you know, unfortunately getting bit. And I think that's how this episode started off, and I think that's how they explained Ellie being immune yeah uh, what did you think about this episode uh it was okay um it stayed pretty you know kind of close to the game but i don't think they executed it well so in this episode they had, they had a lot of stuff to do in the game uh you know you're, you're traveling to the hospital to meet with uh marlene and uh figure out what the plans for the fireflies are when it comes to ellie what they plan on doing with her um, in the game, there's a lot more action. There's a lot of brutality happening. And of course, um, it seems like the fans have kind of spoken out for season one. They already announced that season two will have a lot more infected. Whatever. Yeah, um, too bad they couldn't do it on this season. They really, I, I feel like they tried to shoehorn a lot of emotion in that wasn't really earned during this, this episode at the beginning. Um, after it shows how Ellie was born. Uh, Marlene meets up with Ellie's mother and, uh, and she's ordered to take the baby and kill her. Kill The mother was asking Marlene to kill her because she was infected. So she took the baby, came back, handled her business. And honestly, she raised Ellie or, or was a yeah. big, a big part of her life because in the game, we didn't hear that. We, we knew it. She even said, you know, I, I was there when she was born in the game. But of course, we didn't understand it. And uh, seeing this kind of gives a little bit more uh, uh, background and kind of makes the story take a little bit more, in my opinion. Um, they shoehorned a lot of love and affection in to me uh, in this episode with Joel and Ellie. Uh, what were they eating? They were eating like ravioli or something? Yeah, like Chef Boyardee. They were trying to make... It wasn't earned. They they never really liked each other. And after this, after episode eight, Ellie seemed even more withdrawn at the beginning of this episode talking to Joel. Yeah, and it was like Joel was kind of trying to like be her friend. Like, please like me. Please talk to me and like my jokes. And it felt weird and awkward. So like I've been mentioning before, they had to retcon Joel in this TV series because of what they plan on doing to him in the next season in the game joel was very very cautious he wouldn't say or do things without giving a deliberate thought he wouldn't be caught out in the middle of roads or in places where he could be particular uh taken advantage of seen heard if he wasn't you know if he didn't know affected were around he'd be like shh there might be infected there might be bandits but in this tv series it seems like all yeah that's my stomach it seems like all of his awareness it's like the call of duty perk the awareness perk, somebody yeah. stole all his. Because, of course, they're walking down the street, getting close to where the fireflies are, and what happens? Uh, the guys, like, sneak up right behind them, like, super close, <laughs> and throw a smoke bomb at them. Wasn't that ridiculous? I mean, yeah. the way it looked, too. Like, they were just walking, like, singing, having you know, a celebration, know. yeah. And there's, like, four or five guys that come up behind them. They get hit in the head with guns and knocked out and all and of captured. a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden, they're they're where they want to be uh, with the fireflies. Uh, it, fireflies. Now it did inside this facility look exactly like the game. I told you that. So it feels mm-hmm. like you know this is a you know a part of the game. I love the sets. Yes. When I saw it, I was like, oh yes, we're gonna get an awesome uh, end scene. Action. Last episode. Please let them redeem themselves. And did they? Fantastic. Did they? Fantastic. I mean. I guess as much as they could, I mean, can you think of how much more uh, emphasis could have been put on the scene if, say, for instance, they didn't have two episodes uh, that were just strictly driven by agendas and they actually stuck to the script and said, we're going to flesh this thing out and give you guys every important aspect of this video game in the nine episodes we got. No, 
this is what happens. You got to squeeze everything into the last episode. They botched it. They ruined it. They ruined it. They ruined it. I mean, there was a few moments. I did like the, the part where Joel, you know, after he woke up, he talked to Marlene. She explained to him what was going on with Ellie. Um, she told him, for people who haven't seen the show or played the game, sorry. Um, she explained to him that um, they need to get something off of her brain stem that's allowing her to be immune to this because uh, the cordyceps attached to the brain stem. And so there was a moment from the game where Joel was like, you know, we're getting out of here. And and find she, somebody else. Find somebody else, yeah. It's taken directly from the game. And she orders her, her lieutenants to, you know, take him at gunpoint outside. And if he acts, you know, if he acts up, go ahead and shoot him. And all that's from the game. The game, there was only one guy following Joel. and the show, there was two. Yeah, but he, he handled it pretty awesomely. And I was like, oh, finally, he's manly. Yeah, uh, they did. Joel, he went through, I guess, a quick, you know, one minute uh, action scene where he was, you know, going through uh, the hospital and taking out guys and just killing people. It was like, I mean, he was just killing people without, get, you know, any remorse just for being there. And he was just, I was like, this really doesn't seem like what Joel would have done. But maybe, you know. But, I mean, not this Joel. Because this Joel was all, like, scared and, like, Somebody come save me. I'm a Denzel. Yeah. I mean, but they had picked the worst music possible. Oh, for the action scene. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah. The worst. It, it, did, it didn't suit uh, the scene of him fighting, you know, going through all that, going up all those stairs and stuff, killing probably 10, 15 people to get to Ellie. And ultimately, when he gets to the end of this section of the story, he goes into the hospital emergency room. There's a doctor, two nurses. And uh, the doctor turns around and says, hey, <laughs> and Joel blows his head up. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it seemed a little abrupt and you brought that to my attention because in the game, it wasn't quite that way. They kind of had a dialogue a little bit before the doctor got killed. Mm-hmm. And, and Joel walked in there and was like, the dude was like, I'm not going to let you take her. Joel just headshot at him. He too, he made the two nurses turn their backs to him. I don't know. Uh-huh. If, I don't know if he killed them. I don't know. But, All I know is he told them to unhook Ellie. And, yeah, they, they unhooked her. And uh, the rest of it played out pretty much, you know, exactly as it did in, in the uh, game. He goes down the elevator, down the stairs, meets Marlene downstairs. She tries to offer him one more chance. She gets wrecked. And then Ellie wakes up in the car. And uh, they have a nice little conversation, which leads to, of course, the end of the uh End of the episode where they're walking toward Tommy's and they have that. How did that moment did did that have any weight to you? Because in the the game, um, because of what you go through with these characters and what they ultimately mean to you. Like I named our daughter Ellie. We named our daughter, daughter Ellie, so yeah. we'd be the last people to be shitting on this show. But at the end of the game, when Ellie looked at him and she said, "I want you to promise me that everything happened the way you said it did." And he looked at her, and you could tell he was, like, fighting through emotions and what he was thinking. He said, I promise. And then she was like, all right. It was really heavy to me in the game. Yeah. I was like, oh. And then at the credits, I was like, oh, shit. What just happened to me, you know? Here, it felt a little different. It felt Because the whole series felt different. The whole series, they, they didn't get along. They had They did not mesh well. They didn't have good chemistry. They didn't act like the characters from the game. There's so much wrong. So it's like the end. You don't get any satisfaction. I honestly, I, I didn't, I, you know, I hate to say it. I didn't care at the end. It wasn't good to me. I didn't feel like Pedro Pascal played the Joel from the game. I don't think Bella Ramsey played Ellie from the game. Uh, I know that they both had moments where they shined in this epi- in this TV series, but I felt like they were cosplaying them. Kind of. If, if you were to just make this a standalone, like it had nothing to do with the game, it would just be like a Walking Dead ripoff or something, you know. But since it well, is without part, zombies, yeah. Since it's part of a game that we love, it's like it's a super disappointment. Like it's a fine standalone by itself, but because it's tied to the game, it'll never live up to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you excited for season two? No. You think you're going to watch it? I probably will force myself to watch it. 
Well, I mean, we're not going to know anything about it, and so we'll be we'll have a different perspective if we watch the show because we haven't played the game. We won't play the game, which will be cool. Because we'll be like most people who watch this show and say, "Ooh, it's so great! It doesn't need a video game." So we'll be able to yeah. honestly uh, give that opinion on season two because you know it is what it is. I guess in my mind with season two, everybody knows I'm not going to play that game. Not a fan of what he did to Joel. Out of respect to characters, but I'll watch. I watch Pedro Pascal get get you know taken to the golf club. I guess. I just wanted to see who Abby is in season two. <laughs> I, I heard saw the meme that said Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson is Abby. Let's go. I mean, why not? So, do you have anything else to add to this? Because to uh, me, to me, it was ho hum. It was okay. Yeah. Um, I think the first maybe two episodes. The episode three, I'll never watch again. I think episode four was okay. Episode um, five was, was that the five one where all they the all came out? Yeah, that was, that was the best. One. Yeah, the best episode of the whole series. Yeah. So and I mean, no wonder there was actual death and calamity and fear and something and terrifying stuck, coming. Stuck pretty similar to the game. Yeah. And it felt like the game. Mm-hmm. Wonder. Oh, yeah. It's a wonder. They stick to the game and things work out good. Well, I guess that's our thoughts on episode nine. This, I heard, I did hear briefly there's going to be a bonus episode, but you know how Neil Druckmann is. It's probably going to be like drag times, drag queen story hour or something, um, you know, in this post, post apocalyptic world. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, if you had to rate this show right now based on what you've seen, uh, you know, A through F, what would you say? I'd give it a C. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're tied at the hip most of the time. i give it a C, too. I, I think it was a C plus, maybe. You know, it yeah. wasn't a terrible show. They had great acting, uh, you know, fun set pieces, just unlikable characters and needless preaching about agendas. So that's my thoughts on it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. And that's our thoughts on episode nine of The Last of Us, the season finale. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Did you like this series? Are we hypercritical? Do we have any good points? Let us know below. Be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the channel, Beat the Algorithm, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.